What's poppin' everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing well and hunty. Just go ahead and like this video, thumbs it up, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow your girl on all my social media, at Miss TP90. And you know, I do this every single year. It is time for me to do my Grammy Roundup Review, honey. Baby, this <laughs> Grammy show was dry, honey. Dry, I'm parched. Baby, it got so dry that I was flipping back and forth near the end watching Baby Boy Trap. And I was at the part when Taraji was like, he don't love me no more. I got to that part and I was like, child, I'm just, I'm over it, honey. This was the 60th annual Grammy Awards and they had it in NYC, baby. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 5. Give it, a, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. I'm just, it's just right in the center. The excitement with these award shows have actually gone down the drain. You know, I've seen what the stars are wearing before they even get there. I love it that we have all this access, but at the same time, the magic of just entertainment alone has really fizzled out. I'm gonna tell you guys some of my favorite performances, who did what, who won what, if I missed something, baby, just look it up. Yes, this is not the show itself. If you missed it, honey, you, there's plenty for you to watch. My Boo Boo Cakes, Kendrick Lamar, open it up. Kendrick has had a wonderful year last year and it's just gonna keep on going. I'm excited for him and everything that he does. And damn, that was a good album. I always look forward to the <gasps> His performances have that shock value, but at the same time, it's the realism in it that I love. He had U2 be a part of it, as well as Dave Chappelle. It really just drew everything together. And at the end, I was like, yes, Kendrick. Yes, damn! And baby girl who was playing them drums, honey, she killed everybody, including Kendrick, honey, if I must say so myself. So James was the host, and you know what? James has had the ultimate glow up. He has that cute little um, quirky comedic relief, in my opinion, and he has a genuine love for music, and I love his energy. So I was thinking, who else could have hosted this but him? Lady Gaga did Joanne. And you know what? I'm still trying to get used to Lady Gaga being stripped of everything that I'm used to seeing her as. I'm used to her being so extra extra and having to shoot meat on her face and shit. Best rap performance went to Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna for loyalty. And you know what? I'm really enjoying Thick Rihanna. I am loving it, honey. I am here for Rihanna, but we're going to talk about that later when we get to wow, wow, wow. Music industry icon award, I believe it was, went to Jay-Z Jig Ho. <laughs> looking through Instagram honey I felt like I was at the Rock Nation party like I felt like I was right up in there with all the stars you know what I'm talking about I felt like child we should have been there as opposed to the Grammy. Sam Smith performed he did pray his voice is just crazy to me it, I'm just sitting there listening like how does all of that come out of that? Best new artist went to Alicia Carr I enjoy her voice it was a real tight race with all of the other artists too but if I had to pick I love Lil Uzi and honestly who I would have gave it to was SZA. Little Big Town performed now I don't listen to Little Big Town. I honestly don't really listen to country music, but I can appreciate the genre a little bit. But you know what? Lyrically, I was like, okay, Little Big Town, I see what you're... Oh, okay. That's pop solo performance. And I went to Ed Sheeran. I'm in love with your shape of you. Now, I love me some Ed Sheeran, honey. Y'all know how I feel about these award shows? If you're not there, you don't get the award. Despacito. I didn't even know that this song had over 5 billion. I didn't say million. I said billion views on YouTube. It was Luis Fon and Daddy Yankee and baby he had on all of his jewels he said shit I'm putting everything on for this award show everything give me that one too and they were very happy to be there I was like yeah everybody was turned out it was lit I was like okay we're getting somewhere with this show because it was getting a little dry it warmed up even more because here came Childish Gambino I can't really pinpoint it with him but everything that he does even this performance it was just great baby girl better play that xylophone Ow! And you had everybody snapping their fingers at, on, sitting on the side. I was like, yes! And then he had the little boy singing too. It was just good. And I realized I need to watch Atlanta. Yeah, I'm late. Best rap album went to Kendrick Lamar. Look, look at this little... I just want to braid his little braid over on the side and put it up in the little man bun. I just, okay. Okay, Pink. Pink is one of my favorites. She's always been my favorite. Why? Because she just don't give a damn. And I love that about her. She's going to be Pink and that's what it's going to be. Now, you know, they had to do some carpool kids karaoke but of course they were in New York so they put a little spin on it it was Shaggy Sting and James they were on the subway and they were um playing off of the fact that everybody don't want to hear the karaoke I thought it was cute and I was sitting here like where the hell did Shaggy come from yes this is what I was waiting for with Miss Cardi B and Bruno Mars they did finesse and I love that song I just love it and seeing them live and I was just doing just like this for Cardi B because I was like she has the ultimate glow up she went from here to all the way up there and now this happened is on the Grammy stage getting you or was it three nominations either way she was nominated so now we can say Grammy nominated Cardi B 
Go ahead, girl. Hey, I was so hyped for this performance. I love the little dance breakdown, but I was just here for Cardi. Best comedy album? I didn't know that they present for that on the stage, but either way, it went to Dave Chappelle. I was like, okay. I haven't watched all of his Netflix um, comedy series that he has, but the one that I did watch, it was pretty funny. So, Oh, this little sting track had me diddy bopping. I was like, hey, hey, and here came Shaggy, Mr. Boombastic. Where has Shaggy been at? Where, where was I at? He's still cute. Hey, Shaggy, Mr. Boombastic. I was so excited for DJ Khaled and Rihanna and Baby Boy, who's on the song too. You played yourself. They said I'd never be on the Grammy. He has the ultimate glow up as well. And Rihanna, she was playing no games with none of y'all. I did not come to play with you hoes. She was ready. I said, okay, Riri. Come on! I don't know if you can take it. I was like, yes, you know you want to see me take it, take it. I said, you better give it, give it to her, Rihanna. Come on! Rihanna said, y'all not gonna put on no show? I'm gonna put on a show. Put it on, Rihanna. We the best. Do it. Put your hands up. Come on, Kurt Franklin. Best country album. And that went to Chris Stapleton. And child, that, that little boy can sing. Then there was a tribute to the victims of Las Vegas. Even greater came with Janelle Monet. I freaking love Janelle Monet. She's amazing. I just love her. She's a freaking fantastic. And yes, honey, time is up. Time done been up. Then that brought us to Kesha's performance. And she had an all-star lineup and also a dope choir. Like, you could feel her while she was singing. I was like, damn, Kesha. Now, you know we peep Beyonce saying blue coming through late to the service i said all right y'all you just gonna you just gonna come on in with your shades and your hat and your, your braids to the back okay and blue just gonna come in through with the white all right okay you know us beehives we 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 scoping out you done seen jay-z 50 times with no beyonce oh there she go there it is we're she's here you two performing on the hudson river honey that was dope i was like yeah you two can do whatever they want to song of the year with the bruno mars honey that's how i like now, personally, that's not one of my favorite Bruno Mars songs, but okay. James had another little interlude, and I was here for the Fire and Fury with Cardi B. That blessed my entire life. My entire soul. It blessed me. Hillary Clinton at the end. It just blessed me. Honey, I was blessed. Elton John performed, and baby, I just want his glasses. Like, I just want to be a part of his glasses ministry because I feel like it would change my life forever. Oh, here came Miley Cyrus to sing with him. I honestly did not even recognize her. She was looking all Hannah Montana. And she done shaved off eight years of her life. Just, it, oh my God, you actually look nice. Eve and Shamar Moore, they presented Sizzle. And I just want to say Eve just looks like a brand new crisp $100 bill. Like every time I see her, she looks amazing. And Shamar Moore, he's never going to age. Like never in life. He's just, just beautiful people. SZA, I just have to say, I just listened to her album maybe a couple weeks back. And I just love her vibe. I mean, you can play that while you cleaning up and you be like, and this song that she performed and shit, I didn't know the song, but I was like, yeah, okay, girl, I see where you're going. She just got a vibe that you be like, it's a vibe. Like, you just roll with it. You don't ask no questions. You just be like, okay, girl, yeah. Record of the year went to Bruno Mars, 24 Karat Magic. Now, that's my, that's my shit. I love that song. I was like, yeah, I, I do approve that message. I agree. You know what Bruno Mars' little fro looked like? Y'all remember on Coming to America where the mom and daddy and the grandma got up and it was like a little stain on the back? <laughs> Logic. Khalid and Alicia Cara, they perform. And baby, that song, it really taps into today and right now and what's going on in society. And I feel like all the songs that were sung tonight, aside from a couple of them, um, were really tapping into the events that are going on and it's surrounding something that's even bigger than the music itself. And how music really brings all of us together. So even though this Grammy award show wasn't the most exciting or didn't have a bunch of crazy performances or craziness going on, the messages that were in a bunch of these songs really were bringing everybody together and enlightening a lot of people on things that are going on in the world. We really can never think that music isn't powerful. Music can really bring a lot of people through and a lot of things that people are dealing with. I will say Grammy award shows and different things aren't as exciting as they used to be, but music is still very important. The album of the year went to Bruno Mars, honey. I was like, you know what? Bruno did have a pretty good album. I actually enjoyed that album. And it had a lot of bangers on it. It was Bruno Mars' night, honey. It was Kendrick's night as well, honey. I love you. Hey, Kendrick, how you doing? But all in all, I will say, if I had, okay, I'm gonna retract what I said in the beginning. <sighs> One out of 10, 
I'm gonna give it a five and a half. See, I can be better. A five and a half, that's what I'm gonna give it. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what did you think about this Grammy award show? What did you think about the performances? What did you think about who won the awards? Let's talk about it down below. I would love to have a clean debate, honey. Get it popping down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.